Happy Thursday, guys. Today is going to be the first push workout of my workout program. And you guys haven't checked it out yet. The link is in the description box down below. It is a free spring shredding workout program. And if you haven't checked out the first leg day, definitely check it out. I just uploaded it yesterday. And then tomorrow will be the first pull workout. All right, so I'm going to get straight into it. And then we're going to burn off our chest, shoulders, and triceps right off the bone. All right, let's get to it. guys already know the deal before any workout it's always important to stretch out the muscles that you will be using I'm gonna be stretching out my chest and my shoulders with these stretches right here and of course you guys can do the exact same stretches if you please but if you guys like certain stretches just do those just make sure that your muscles are ready for the workout and of course before our major compound lift I am gonna be warming up right here I'm gonna be warming up my bench press with just the bar and then also gonna be warming up with 135 just get a few reps in before my top set. All right, now that we're all warmed up, it's time to go into the first workout of today's push day. And we're going to be doing five by five barbell bench presses. You're going to want to go really heavy because it's just five reps each set. Just make sure that you're keeping good form throughout all of the lifts. Along with good form, you're going to want to go at least under 90 degrees. Ideally, I like to touch my chest, but I know some people who have elbow problems, they like going just under 90 degrees. Make sure you guys are not bouncing the weight off of your chest. That is considered to be bad form because you're using momentum rather than the actual chest muscles. Also, make sure that you aren't flaring your elbows. Here's an example of flaring elbows. You guys don't want to be doing that. So next we have three sets of 10 dumbbell seated shoulder presses. And this is a pretty basic workout. Just make sure you're getting a full range of motion. Make sure you're going down low enough, but also don't go down too low if you have elbow pains. If you do have elbow problems, just make sure you're going at 90 degrees. Moving on, we have three sets of 12 dumbbell inclined bench presses. And this is extremely similar to the barbell bench press. All the tips are the same as the barbell bench press. And again, make sure you guys aren't flaring out your elbows. Go as low as possible unless you're prone to shoulder injuries and then we're going to be supersetting these with 3x12 dumbbell lateral raises and guys this is where you take the ego aside use light weight with this exercise because it's all about control slow down the eccentric portion to really feel the burn here's an example of bad form as you can see i'm using momentum rather than my actual lats you guys don't want to be doing this all right so for the fifth workout of the push day we have 3x12 seated arnold presses and these are very similar to the seated shoulder press you're just going to want to motion the weights upwards and twist your arms outwards with each rep. Again, eccentric motion or the going down part is the key. If you feel like you're bouncing the weights a little bit too much and you can't control the weight, then go lighter. So you're going to want to superset these Arnold presses with 3x12 dumbbell chest flies on an incline bench. And now if you choose to do this on a flat bench or decline, it's completely up to you. I just personally prefer the incline bench. And this is another workout where you're going to want to take the ego aside. Go light because it is all about control. The slower you go, the better. And make sure you guys aren't going extremely too, too low because then that can cause an injury. And here's an example of going a little bit too low. All right, so now that we completely kamikaze our chest and shoulders, it's now time to move on to our triceps. This is actually my favorite tricep movement, and it's going to be 4 by 12 dumbbell skull crushers. And I advise you guys to not go directly up and down. Here's an example of going directly up and down. I actually advise you guys to go at a diagonal and then just go below your head when you guys are going down. This is better for your joints and it really reduces the risk of injury. And with this workout, you guys are going to want to just make sure you are keeping good control. All right, so for the last tricep movement, we have 8x8 eight eight cable rope pull downs. And you're going to want to minimize rest to 30 to 45 seconds between each set. And this is a complete burnout exercise. And when you guys are doing this, make sure you guys are keeping your back straight and you aren't leaning over because when you are leaning over, over, it makes it easier on the tricep and you're not really isolating your triceps which is the point of the workout try to keep your body up and just control the extension all the way through all right so for the final workout of the push day we are going to go back to abs and we have four sets of 15 hanging knee raises and if your abs are more advanced i would advise you guys to do leg raises i personally do leg raises at this point with both the leg raises and knee raises you guys want to ensure that you are using your abs and not your hip flexors here's an example of using your 
hip flexors and swinging, which you don't want to be doing. Swinging is really bad form for this workout. You want to keep it controlled and slow down the movement. Make sure you are feeling your abs the whole time through it. All right, so just got out the gym. As you can tell, it is late outside. I usually work out in the morning, but today I had to work out later in the day and it freaking sucked because my gym was packed, as you guys can see in those clips. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed today's push workout. Again, check out my free workout program. The link is in the bio and don't forget to subscribe. Tomorrow we got a pool workout and I'll see you guys then. Peace. Pacing for the profits, ain't no way we break the code. Keep your pockets like the tropics, don't let rocks disrupt your flow. We was outside with no options, all we knew was get and go. But these haters trying to take it, so it's time to get some more.